at Vadia Bulu, where you ran into Skullface. The thing is, this guy might know something about the disease that's going around Mother Base. The symptoms are similar to the ones we saw at that factory. Start by checking the mission details on your iDroid. Look closely. Those are the symptoms of the infection on Mother Base. The blisters on the body were full of tiny worms. Parasite larvae, most likely. But we couldn't find any adults. It doesn't seem to mature in the body, like a spargatum. We don't know the root of infection, or what causes symptoms to develop. The infection rate, along with the number of dead, are both on the rise. If we don't find the cause, and soon... Boss, do you remember seeing these symptoms before? The bodies floating around in the oil facility? The bedridden test subjects at the Devil's House? This epidemic looks just like what we've seen on our hunt for Cypher. It could be a counterplay by Skullface. That's insane. You mean they weaponize parasites? Parasites as weapons. That definitely falls under the Biological Weapons Convention. But it's something the world would never see coming. And no one's ever developed a vaccine for parasites. So this is the weapon of mass destruction Cypher was working on in Africa? It may be. But if it is, how do the yellow cake and walker gears fit in? There must be something bigger we're not seeing. Anyway, our priority now is to prevent more casualties. The medical team is studying the infection, but we can't treat anyone until we know the root cause. All we can do right now is halt the spread of infection. Remember before, boss, when Quiet attacked one of our guys on Mother Base, stuck a knife in his mouth. He's one of the very few soldiers who've had contact with her recently. Close contact. I don't think it's a coincidence that he was among those who became symptomatic pretty early on in this epidemic. Saliva and blood spatter, an open wound, mucosal infection. Whatever is causing this got inside him then. Miller, that is a baseless accusation. The source of the infection is quiet. Everyone suspects her. We don't know that. And we've come across these symptoms before. The bodies in the water at the oil field facility. Those sick people in the beds at the Devil's House. They're identical to what we've seen while we've been after Cypher. The infection could have come from elsewhere. But at the very least, she does know something. <laughs> it's not like she's gonna talk. No, not through words, anyway. But what about her actions? Quiet held a knife to that soldier back then, before he became symptomatic. There must have been a reason for that. A reason for shoving a knife down the throat of one of our men. What if she's capable of identifying who's infected? What if she was trying to stop the infection but couldn't communicate that to us? The answer to that, the source of the infection, might be in the mouths of the infected. You think there's some kind of clue in their mouths? I don't know. But maybe there's something about the mouths of those who've become symptomatic, something in common. Something their mouths have in common. Forget it. We can't trust her. Even if she can spot the infected, I don't want her help. I understand how you feel. But this is something to go on. Can't you see it's just like I said? Bringing her here was a big mistake. Quiet is gonna be the end of us. Stand down. You've got zero proof. Try to keep an open mind on this, boss. There has to be a way to identify who's infected. Development project has been added. Assigned.
Commencing platform construction. Someone else has turned symptomatic. The staff member's been moved to quarantine, but at this rate, we're going to lose everybody. Find out what's causing this and quarantine the infected. Please specify a project. Specify a project. Please specify a project. Specify a project. Staff assigned.
Please select a mission. Please select a mission. Boss, there's a target on the run somewhere on the savannah. Your job is to find and eliminate him. He's a logistics officer for the PF known as Rogue Coyote. On the side, however, he colluded with the Buta regime, abducting people from Mbele villages and supplying them as slave labor. That's right. He's a human trafficker. His victims ended up all over the place. Brothels, black market, organ trade, diamond mines. And he was the one who sent Shibani and the other kids to the Devil's House. But then an Mbele rebel group finally added him to their hit list. The target decided it was time to quit, and now he's trying to leave the country. If he makes it back to his country, he'll be no more than a civilian, and he'll avoid facing a court-martial. Like so many other war biz junkies, I'll bet he plans on enjoying a new live finance with his blood money. The client's order is to take him out. How you go about that is up to you, boss. Mission accepted. logistics officer who works as a human trafficker on the side. The client wants him dead. He's currently on the run somewhere on the savannah with bodyguards. Unfortunately, we don't know what route they're taking. All we have to go on is a coded transmission sent by the PF at the Natadi abandoned village. It appears to be a workup of the target's security plans, but to decipher it, we'll need an intel file with the encryption key. This key should be at the comms facility at the Natadi abandoned village. Check your eye droid to see what the target looks like, as well as the location of the village. Find the route. Find the man. The map has been updated. That's the target. The trafficker. He's a logistics officer. The real priority. It looks like he...